Hi, Assalamualaikum. Salam sejahtera. My name is Muhammad Faris Azwan bin Abdullah. I'm a postgraduate student from Art and Design Research from College of Creative Arts, UITM Shalom. Currently, I'm working at University Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia Italy Design Institute Media. So today, I would like to present about my paper title, which is Sustainable Pineapple Fabric Being Used Through Local Hand-Drawn Batik Technique. Introduction. So the objective of this study is to experiment the hand-drawn batik technique into three types of pineapple fabric as one of the potential fabric that can be used in the nation batik scene. Furthermore, this research only focusing on the process of hand-drawn batik technique by using ramazol dye into three types of pineapple fabric. So pineapple fabric company overview. Me, myself, as researcher for this paper, so I try to seek the potential of the pineapple fibers and also pineapple fabric from one of the local company that produce this kind of the pineapple fabric and fibers, which is Palmy Malaysia. Palmy Malaysia is located in Johor Bahru and their mission and vision, which is to driven to make a positive impact towards ecological and social causes and also provides other services in the industry. So they said that by touching life through the stroke of art, we hand paint. So the awareness we raise through education and even the experiences we share with the public through agro-tourism, we consider it right that engagement with our clientele is key to creating peoples of sustainable change together. So impact. So Palmy Malaysia is one of the company that contribute to to this kind of two impact, which is the first one is environmental impact and the second one is economic impact. By environmental impact, so they inspired by nature. Palmy believe aesthetics can be met without the expense of the planet. Since Palmy began its operation, they have already prevented open burning of agricultural waste and further deforestation. While for the economic impact, just as how the individuals behind each Palmy product have they covered, so delivering the best womanship and attention to detail. So all Palmy goods are ethically made by a close-knit community in a village of Joho and they are aimed to create, sorry, to create positive economic impact by helping local farmers generate better income and livelihoods. So the terms, for the terms, they have a three terms in this research paper, which is the first one, the hand drawn. So what is a hand drawn? According to Yunus 2012, hand drawn batik technique is the most of the precious nation local textile, which is batik itself. So in the Jawa words, which mean from amba words, which is to draw, while in the Malay word for dot, which is titit. But Batik has making generic terms referring the, to a process of dyeing fabrics by making use of resist technique, covering areas of cloth with a dye resistant substance and prevent them to absorb the colors. The other term which is the pineapple fibers. Pineapple fiber is a soft fiber that is extracted from the leaf of the pineapple plant. So it is produced by breaking the matured leaf through a decor ticketing machine. So which a machine that breaks the leaf into small pieces. In textile fabric, it is sometimes combined with silk or polyester to create a more luxurious appearance. So the last one is pineapple fabric. Pineapple fabric is the continuation from the pineapple fibers through the weaving and textile production and process. So according to ASNA 2021, pineapple fabric is a textile made by weaving the fibers of the leaf of the pineapple plant by using traditional or machinery methods in industry. So this one is the methods that I use in this research, which is the first one is field visit to pineapple fabric maker, which is the Palmy, in, located uh, in Johor Bahru. So the second one, the observation and experimentation with the three types of pineapple fabric by using hand-drawn body technique, which is me, myself, a researcher, I try to experiment with these three types of pineapple fabric that I get from the Palmy company. And also the last one, profiling process, which is I uh, do the digital profiling during all the process in experimentation. So result and discussion. So discussion on the process of hand-drawn batik on pinna cotton, hand-drawn batik on pinna silk, hand-drawn batik on pinna natural fibers. So they have a three types of the 
Pina fabric which is the first one, Pina cotton, Pina silk, Pina natural fabrics. So these three types of the pineapple fabric which is made from the natural pineapple fibers that mixture with the cotton and silk. Deliberated the experiment, this is also profiling the resist and wet process into Pina cotton, Pina silk and also Pina natural fabric by using Ramazole that color. So the unique findings need to be revealed as part of body of knowledge to the society. So the existence of this natural fiber fabric is made known to the local market producer which need to be explored and cherished so that it will improve the sustainability approach in local hand drawn batik making. So this one is all the picture. Example of the types, the three types of the pina fabric, which is we have pina cotton, which is the mixture of the um, pineapple fabric, fiber with the cotton. And also the second one is pina silk, the mixture of the pineapple fiber with the silk. The last one is 100% pina natural fabric that I use. So this one is the example and the products from the experimentation. So hand-drawn pineapple batik experimentation sources by Faris Azwar 2022. So the first one is the types of which is a pina silk. The technique uh, I'm using is a uh, hand-drawn. The dye, the color that I use is Ramazol. The second one is a uh, natural pina, 100% natural pina that made from the 100% pineapple fibers. The technique I also use the hand drawn technique and also the color, Remazo color. While the last one is Pina cotton, which is the mixture of the pineapple fiber with the cotton. The technique I also use the hand drawn technique and also the Remazo dye color. So, differences between these three and product or sample which is they have different motive and attribution from the experimentation process. For instance, the finding, the hand-drawn batik makers find that pineapple cotton fabric gives the finest surface than other materials. During the experiment, the dyeing process of the pineapple silk and natural pina fabric much slower than the pina cotton itself. While for the wax application into the natural pina fabric, also much slower than pina cotton and pina silk because of the rough texture of the fabric and have difficulties while wax process and cause the color to spread around the wax. So, and during the batik process, the practitioner have to wait five minutes for fabric to absorb the dye. So the last one, the finding from the experiment were important to profile the suitest fiber fabric for hand drawn batik application to create finished batik product incorporating wax absorption, dye absorption until the end product and it shows that the suited spinal fabric for hand-drawn batik technique, which is a pinna cotton that can absorb the wax and remazole dye, colors rapid than other pinna fabric. Conclusion Collectively, the great acceptance from society mainly at the global level proved that there needs in natural fiber that can be used by our current society that can improve our textile industries, especially in batik making. Through exploration new materials by using natural resources to embark the sustainability chain through textile making. However, the society, especially hand drawn batik producer, will recognize and know more about the outcome while they using the three different pina fabric in their batik product. So this one is all the references. Alright, thank you so much for watching.